Welcome to episode 12 of Create Above and Beyond. We're getting into chapter three of this mod pack. I already got a little bit of a head start on some of the stuff that we need. The first thing in this chapter is you need to make cobblestone and sticks. We already had sticks from our tree farm and then you combine them to make crushing wheels. And then you crush crushing wheels to get these things, singularities. And then you have to combine these singularities with ender dust that you get from slimy ferns, which I haven't figured out the slimy ferns part yet, but I wanted to give you a breakdown of how I'm doing crushing, crushing wheels. And I have this automated. So let me take you down here, show you what's going on. First thing we need was sticks. So I'm bringing sticks down around. They drop onto this depot from the tree farm up above upstairs, filling this barrel up barrel drops onto the depot. And then up above, I have a mechanical arm that picks them up and is loading them in the crafter above. And then over on this side, we need cobblestone. So one of the new things that I could make with zinc machines is an igneous extruder. So if you put water and lava on both sides of this, this thing creates cobblestone pretty fast too. So that's perfect. And then another thing that was introduced in this chapter to me, that's new to me is a stockpile switch, which I've never used in create. I don't know if it's a new item or not. So what I'm doing is I have stockpile switches here on where it's crafting crafting wheels. And I have this one set to once this barrel is full 50%, it'll shut off this whole operation. And I'm doing that through a redstone signal, a redstone link. It'll activate the redstone signal. And then down below here, I have an item called a clutch. So when there's a redstone signal, let me just show you this. I think this will work if I do that. Boom, it shuts that shaft off and it stops crafting. So that won't overrun our world with entities, right? Which is cool. And then up here, I'm doing the same thing. The crushing wheels are being crafted in there and then they get pulled out of that belt or that crate rather on this belt, go through these two crushing wheels. It crushes them down right here. Boom. And it makes the singularity. They get popped into this chest here. Now, I don't know how many thousands of these we're going to need, or if we even need thousands, but I have another stockpile switch here, set this to 50% as well. So when it fills this barrel more than 50% of singularities, it'll shut off the crushing operation right here. It won't pull any more crushing wheels out of here, allowing this to back up in here with crushing wheels. Now I got to figure out this slimy ferns. And I think this process is a little bit more technical than my knowledge base. So it's going to take me some time to figure it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a grasp on it and then I'll bring you back. All right, check this out. I learned some things. Slimy ferns is what we're after. There's three colors of them, green, blue, and purple. You get them from slime islands. Take a pair of shears, boom, snip them. You got the fern. But if you take the fern and you cut it with a knife, you get two leaves. This right here is purple flame. It's from occultism. Take a piece of demon fruit, put it on top of netherrack, light it on fire with a flint and steel. So now if I take these two fern leaves, put it on there, boom, I get two ferns back. So you can keep doing that to double the amount of ferns that you have. So came up with this and I think it's going to work. Ferns will get pulled out of here. A deployer with a knife in its hand is going to cut it in half. It's going to send two leaves into this flame. It's going to do that, turn it back into two ferns. A vacuumulator here with a filter set to only pick up slimy ferns so it won't grab the leaves. That's going to pick them up. Half of them are going to go back into the box to be duplicated again. And the other half are going to run 
through here, another deployer with a knife. Boom, it's gonna cut it into a leaf and then it's gonna crush it here and you get some kind of slimy fern blend or something. Let's see if this deal works. Run that through there. Boom. Picks it up. One goes back, one gets crushed. Turns it into slimy fern blend. And we need this to make gunpowder. What the green makes gunpowder. The blue, I think, was ender dust and the purple bone meal, or that could be the other way around. We need gunpowder because we got to make a bunch of TNT. We're going to combine this stuff, the singularities, the ender dust, and then deploy TNT on it. And apparently it turns these guys into this stuff, quantum entangled singularity, which we need to keep moving forward through the pack. This is how I'm going to get all three of the colors set up. And then I'll work on how we're going to process this stuff. The fern blends. I'll bring you back and show you how that's going to happen real quick. Another thing that I want to do is I want to set up one of these stockpile switches here. So let me walk you through that. Let me activate this deal, get it rocking and rolling. You pick that up. You start pulling them out. But now that's just going to keep on running for eternity, right? Which we don't want because at a certain point, this box will fill up. No bueno. And then we have nowhere to put anything. So if I put a stockpile switch right here, looking at this crate, we're going to take one of these out. We're going to tell it, look for slimy fern blend. Actually, I need one of them still. And we're also going to tell it at 50%, which you can control this by scrolling. So when this crate's 50% full, it's going to activate a redstone signal right here. So what we're going to do is I'll put a redstone link attached to this deal. We'll color it with this. And then we're going to add one right over here on where we're pulling out from this box. We're going to do the same frequency. And then shift, right click, that's the receiver. So now when this is 50% full, it'll activate this stockpile switch, turning off that, and it, no more ferns will get run through the system until we use up, I have it set for 25% to turn back on. So until we use up below 25%, this thing won't run. All right, we're jumping ahead in time here. I have put in, the other two colors of ferns got them fully automated same way I did the first color that I showed you and now we're also processing the ferns to turn them into the respected things they make bone meal is one ender dust and gunpowder is the first color that I showed you so with this teal color you end up getting bone meal so what I'm doing is I'm pulling it out of this crate that it was stacked in the slimy fern blend mechanical arm loads a deployer and the deployer puts it on the stove the stove cooks it, it turns it into bone meal and I have a vacuumulator set up to only grab a bone meal so when it turns the bone meal boom the vacuumulator sucks it up causes it in this crate now I also set up these the same way with stockpile switches that look for bone meal and when this crate is 75% full. There's a clutch underneath this arm that'll turn off this mechanical arm and stop it from processing anymore. So I have each of these three colors set up the same way. The purple turns into ender dust and the last color, the green one, turns into gunpowder. So with the gunpowder, we need to make TNT to blow up this stuff, the singularity and the ender dust, when you blow it up, you end up getting these things, quantum entangled singularities. So now I set up an igneous extruder, lava, water on both sides. This thing cranks out cobblestone, grind it down once, turns it into gravel, grind it down again. You get sand, flint and clay. The only thing we really need here is the sand to craft 
TNT. I'm going to put mechanical arms here to load the different ingredients into this crafter. And then I have them going into a barrel. Boom, same deal, stockpile switch here. It's looking for TNT. And when that gets full, it's going to shut off mechanical arms underneath here. Same method, using a clutch. Let me make up a bunch of this TNT. And then we have to figure out how we're going to get singularities and the ender dust somewhere in this general vicinity and then blow it up with TNT. I think I'm going to use a deployer to place the TNT and then just shoot the singularity and the ender dust next to the TNT for the explosion. And then probably use a vacuumulator to suck it up. And then we have to use this bone meal to grow some type of dye, which I haven't figured out what we're going to use just yet. And then that quantum entangled singularity needs to be turned into a color. And there's a lot of steps still left to chapter three. Let me get some of this rocking and rolling so we can get some resources set up and then figure out how we're going to continue. And boom, they're making TNT. Got a plan for dye. We're taking the bone meal out of this crate here. Puts it on a depot. This mechanical arm picks it up. Feeds this deployer. Puts it on the rose bush. Duplicating the rose bush. This vacuumulator is set to only pick up rose bushes. And then it shoots it into a mechanical crafter. Turning it into red dye. That we're going to use later in the process. And now that we have all the parts and pieces. I think I have it set up to run. Let me pull stuff out of here. That's our singularities. They're going to get fed into a dropper over here. There they go. Boom. This is the ender dust, I think. Yes, it is. Pull that out of there. That's getting fed into another dropper right here. And then in the middle here, I have a deployer with TNT. Underneath there, it's going to put TNT on the block of redstone, causing the TNT to blow up. So the last one I got to release, if I can get over here, is this one, our TNT. That's going to load up the deployer and hopefully put this all into action. We can put our red dye into this basin. Once this explosion happens, it changes that singularity into this, a quantum entangled singularity. Now I have a vacuumulator here with a filter on it that's set to not pick up ender dust and don't pick up singularities. So the only thing it should pick up, hopefully, are these, the quantum entangled singularity. It's going to send them into this basin. It's going to get mixed with this red dye from here. And boom, then it goes through a crushing wheel and it turns into paintballs. Hopefully this all works. It worked by hand. I haven't done this automation yet so up here i have a bunch of redstone stuff going on this deployer now that i'm feeding it tnt will just keep running non-stop boom 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 blowing up everything we don't want that so i have this here it's called a newer gate and this is giving out a redstone signal right now to this clutch which is controlling this deployer so as soon as I flick this lever on, that redstone signal will stop and that deployer will start deploying TNT on top of the redstone. Now over here, I have droppers, two of them, one on each side. That doesn't belong in there. Make sure this one doesn't have anything in there. Okay, ender dust in that one over here and singularities in this one over here. Another NOR gate here. Now when I flick this lever, because this is looped, it's going to cause this redstone signal to flash. So it's going to activate these droppers repetitively. Dropping down stuff, we'll flick this lever first, and then I'll flick on the deployer, and hopefully we'll end up with what we want. See how that's doing that, and then see all the stuff dropping down? Now let's fire this guy up, start blowing it up. Boom, there goes our quantum 
entangled singularities, except they blow all over the place. So I need to enclose this deal, apparently. <laughs> okay. And let's turn off the TNT. We don't need that right now. But this is going to work, I think, if I enclose this whole bottom here so this stuff doesn't blow all over. And of course they don't stack. <laughs> but we're making paintballs. Let me try to enclose this. I'll bring it back and see if we can get this working a little bit better. Another problem. This method of storing paintballs is trash. You can only hold 32 in a drawer. I need to come up with a different solution of how we're going to sort out these paintballs. This just gets better and better. I love it. Change of plans. The drawers are trash. So what I'm going to do is I set up this here. We're just going to process these paintballs right as they get crushed. They're going to go into this depot. I have brass filters here. The red one has to be processed four times. The ultimate goal is to get this purple magenta color one. That's what it'll turn into. The yellow one three times, green twice, blue once. So once they've run through this deal, they'll come across here on the disc belt. Boom, get fed into the mechanical crafter and it'll turn it into what we ultimately need. Chromatic compound. So how I'm doing that is I'm going to use mechanical arm. So I just need to program it right now. Tell it you're going to pick up from here, put in there, in here, in here, and in here. Purple one just runs wild right to the finished product. Hopefully this will work. Test it like so. Boom, puts it on there. They roll across. Turn into the purple, go to the crafter. Perfect. Let's do a yellow one. I like it. It's working. Green. Boom. Blue. And what do you do if you see a purple one? The man. You put it right in there and you all get turned into chromatic compound. There is a problem with this though. This stuff generates chromatic waste, which we have to get rid of or that's just going to halt the whole operation. I also encased this area here so that it doesn't have the blowout because look how many pieces got blown out. None of this stuff stacks either. So I think the best way to handle it is just to get it to a point where it does stack. And then you can put it into a barrel. And we'll deal with this chromatic compound in the next episode. And also how we're going to get rid of this stuff, the chromatic waste. So for now, that's me, Tube and Knuckle, saying bye-bye. Thanks for watching, y'all. Have fun and peace!